Okay, so sometimes you might be in a situation where you don't want the cloth to collide with certain geometry. In this case, I've got some collision geometry here, cloth geometry, and right now it's colliding with everything. And uh, what I did here is I broke these groups out, uh, the green box and blue box into different groups. And what I'm going to do is assign collision groups to them. And it's, it's a little bit of a misnomer calling it a collision group. It's not really a group in the normal sense. It's not, not, it's not a group like this is a group. It's maybe it could be called a collision set or something. Uh, so basically you make a point wrangle. And I'm going to just say, if the group is green box is one, then it's a, the group set is a string. So it's string and it's called collision group, all lowercase, that exact spelling. If it's anything else, it's not going to work. And we'll just call this green set. And I'll do the same thing for the blue one. All right. Um, so that creates the collision set or the collision <laughs> collision group. And uh, on its own, this doesn't do anything. This is basically just uh, setting this collision group attribute. And if I run the sim, it'll still collide with everything. What we need to do now is tell it what to ignore. So create another point wrangle. And I'll put this on the cloth. So there's another uh, string attribute called collision ignore. Again, it has to be spelled exactly like that, all lowercase. And in this, I can specify the blue set. And now when I run the simulation, it's going to ignore collisions with the blue box. And this also can take uh, wild cards. So since they both have the suffix set, I can just do star, and now it'll ignore both the green and blue box. It also works on self collisions. So here's two grids. They're technically the same object since I have them merged. Uh, one of them I set a group for half of it. And then with this point, Wrangle, uh, I set the collision group as collision set, and I set the group to just that half. And then I set a collision ignore for that collision set. And now when I sim it, it'll follow right through. I almost forgot to mention this collision ignore attribute is also uh, per point. So say you want like part of the object to collide with the blue and part to collide with the green. You can duplicate this and set this to the green set. Just grab the bottom half of the geometry. And now when you sim it, uh, part of it will ignore the blue and part of it will ignore the green. So it's, it's very flexible. Uh, I I feel like you you might not actually run to a situation where this is required, but you know, Houdini's cool like that. It's very flexible. Whatever you need to do, you can do it.